any second. These lashes, look at them. They're fabulous, but they are super annoying. I don't know how people deal with these. I'll be honest, I can't wait to get them off. <laughs> um, I am going to take you through a full day of eating. Um, I was going to show you my food yesterday, but I'm telling you it was pretty terrible. <clears throat> I didn't have a plan for yesterday. didn't have a whole lot of things cooked for yesterday. So, I just, I just ate whatever I could. It wasn't crappy food. It was, you know, cottage cheese and turkey bacon and uh, banana pancakes, all that kind of stuff. So, anyway, here we go. So, I'm just doing my reds and greens drink here. Um, these are by first form, but in here I also have Jow Nutrition, Sorella, and Collagen. So, let's get these in. And we're going to drink up. related stuff so the thing is is I may only be in prep for six more weeks not prep off season so junior nationals is moving to Chattanooga for those of you that don't know I'm based out of Tennessee Nashville Chattanooga is only about hour and a half, two hour drive from the part of Nashville that I live in. So, I feel like it would be stupid of me not to do it with it being so close. So guess what? We're gonna do it. And it's four weeks out from Master Nationals, which was my original plan, and then Master Nationals is four weeks out from North Americans. So, that's going to be my schedule. I don't know why my phone keeps cutting off, tentatively. <coughs> right now, I'm taking MPA subs course of for my cortisol levels. So, yeah, that's where we're at on things. Um, I am excited and nervous at the same time, but I think it'll be good. Um, I feel really good about this off season. I really think I've made the changes I need to make and I'm excited to see what's underneath everything, but I'm also really enjoying it, so I'm going to be sad for it to end. Um, anyway... That's it on that. I'm about to make my coffee and make my first meal, and I'll get video of that for you guys. All right, so here is meal number one. I don't know why those look so dark, but we have two 93-7 beef patties, um, one slice of cinnamon raisin toast, a little bit of homemade jelly under there, and my coffee. And that's going to be meal number one for my off-season. All right, guys, so got my makeup on, got the hair done. I'm still upset about this hair being so short, but it's just hair. Anyway, um, so today I'm going to hit back. Um, I think I'm going to go to Iron House. I will get video for you guys, um, but I'm about to eat my second meal, um, which is going to be my yogurt meal. It's literally my highest caloric meal that I have. Um, so it's yogurt, a fourth cup of muesli. Um, what am I trying to say here? Um, uh, about a fourth cup of almonds, 
uh, either berries or bananas. I have bananas because I had frozen bananas I needed to just let go of. And yeah, this, yeah, I put some liquid stevia and some cinnamon on top, mix it all together, and it is delicious. So, I'll show you. So I'm in my bedroom and I thought I would show you the supplements that I'm taking right now. So I take the liquid multivitamin. Um, I take my reds and greens. I take collagen. I'm also taking right now life support as well as core hard. And I'm taking some extra dim active with that. Um, so that is it at the moment. I, um, oh, and then I take my Elder Immune, um, just whenever I feel like it. I had stopped taking, um, all the other vitamins and stuff that Jamie had given me. Um, not that I didn't think that it was working. It was just a lot for me to keep up with and a lot to take at once. And I was like, is it really good that I'm filling my stomach with all of this stuff? So I just decided to stop. And I feel fine, you know? So, on that note, um, I'm not sure that I ever talked about the fact that I'm not working with Jamie anymore. Not that um, anything she was doing was wrong or anything like that. But I just decided financially um, I'm going to do it myself. I have prepped myself many times before. I've prepped myself many times before. And I've done just as good as I've done with anyone else. Um, so I know my body better than anyone. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do it myself. Um, you know, and I've done it long enough. I mean, I've done this competing thing going on nine years now. So, um, yeah, you know, it's just not been my time to get the pro card yet. Plus I've had a lot of other things in my life going on. Um, it took me three years to even, it took me five years to even get to step on a national level stage. Um, for one, you know, I, I didn't think I was ready and I was, um, I wish I would have stepped on a national level, level stage a long time ago because I probably would have been pro now because bikini has evolved so much since then. Um, I started competing at the beginning of 2012. Bikini itself just became a division in 2011. <laughs> so, and the look has evolved so much from then. So, I really feel like if I would have taken the opportunity and stepped on stage earlier, I probably would have gotten my pro card by now. Um, the problem is, is I waited five years. Um, by the time I stepped on stage, I was told I was too lean. Um, then, I've been told I'm not lean enough. <laughs> Oh, it's just been a battle back and forth ever since then. And I'm not saying anything uh, bad about the past coaches I've had. Um, the coach that I worked with all the way up to 2018 was my boyfriend. And we went through a bunch of personal stuff. And I didn't feel like it was good that he coached me anymore. Because we were together, not together he was going through stuff in his life. I was going through stuff in my life. It, it was just not good all around. So, you know, I went with Team Pro Physique. Um, they did a good job, um, but my peaking was off every time. Um, then I went with Jamie because I wanted to learn from her, and I learned so much from her. She is amazing. I would recommend her to anyone. But again, we had issues peaking and flowing over and just overfilling. It was just, you know, they were just trying to bring the look that the judges asked for. And I just felt I looked better. I, I've always felt that I looked better the day before the show. So I think my peaking just needs to be different. And I'm going to work on that. Plus, you know, going into this off season, I knew what I had to do. I knew I needed to take a longer off season. Um, and I didn't get to have that last year. I wanted that. Um, but Jamie had wanted to do like a 20 week prep and I, I know why, and that's to like take our time, um, and preserve as much muscle as possible. But for me, it doesn't work that way because once my body gets to a state where it starts dropping weight, then I just start 
looking skinny and unhealthy rather than what the judges are going for. So I think I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to be doing this year and how I'm going to handle peak week and whatnot. And, and I'm just going to kind of, you know, take my time with everything and go from there. Um, I'm going to push my off season as long as I can. So as I mentioned this morning, um, Junior Nationals is going to be in Chattanooga. Chattanooga is only about two hours from Nashville. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I think it would be stupid of me not to do it. So, I'm going to do it, and I, I really think I'm about to bring my best physique yet. I can tell in this off season I have put on muscle, and... I'm still fairly lean. I mean, you can still see veins in my biceps. Not right now, but when I'm working out, you can still see veins. Um, I have slight abs. Um, I did cheat the past two days, so my, I don't really have them right now. But, you know, getting back on my nutrition and everything. Things were just off last week. I say things were off last week. They've actually been off for two weeks. It was off two weeks because I moved, and then we had a freaking snowstorm hit Nashville, and pretty much everything shut down. So, you know, I was I did fairly good. Um, I wasn't, like, super terrible on anything. So, anyway, um, that's pretty much it. So, that is my f update for you guys. I am sitting at 141.6 right now. Um, that was after a cheat meal in the morning. Um, yeah. So, I know that I'm probably realistically sitting around like 140, 139, something like that. So, um, I'm, I'm really not too concerned with the scale because I really love how I'm looking right now. And I'm super happy with it and pleased with it. So, that's my update. Let's get on to meal number. So here is meal number two. Again, I already had it pre-made. That's the yogurt, the muesli, the almonds, and the banana. Look, the bananas aren't bad. They were just frozen, so they're unthawed now. So I'm just going to mix this together and eat it. It's actually really delicious. Um, there's stevia and cinnamon on top. That is meal number two. Meal three. Um, this is a mix. It's about two and a half ounces of ground turkey one um, and a half ounces of bison and a half a cup of jasmine rice. I'm going to throw a little bit of seasoning, um, like country bobs on this, and that's gonna be meal number three.
done training. Did back and shoulders. Could not do biceps. And my elbow sleeves, I think, worked a little too good. Because as soon as I took them off, I was dying. Uh, so, I'm going to stop on the way home and get um, an ice pack and probably see, maybe try to order the same sleeves that I have in a small and not an extra small. Um, the extra smalls were great. I think they might have been just a little too tight. I don't know. I've never really had to wear compression anything before. So I'm confused on how tight is too tight and how loose is too loose. Like I know, like if you're able to get like your fingers in there, like three fingers, you shouldn't be able to do that. Oh shit, just kidding. Um, damn, I hate this road. Man, people just like fucking come out of nowhere. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, I wanted to also talk to you guys a little bit about my plan for ending this off season and rolling into contest prep. So I've been doing really good. The past two weeks, however, I've probably only been 80%, 80% I would say on my nutrition. The week that I moved, um, Friday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I was not great with my food. Um, not that it was bad, but it wasn't my nutrition plan. And I ate out several times. There were two times where I only had two meals and they were both like takeout, which was is not good. One time was I had um, steamed chicken, rice, and broccoli that was Chinese. <laughs> and I have not had Chinese in years. When I say years, I literally mean probably like three or four years. And I was so swollen. Like I couldn't get this ring off. I mean, and when I did, there was like a ring around, like an indention. Oh, it was awful. Ugh. Um, but you know, I did the best that I could. I, I know I burned a lot of calories because all I did was move all day long and then not go to bed until 2 a.m. Which isn't the best either, but you know, I was active. And then last week, Nashville got hit by that snowstorm, the same one that hit Texas, except we didn't get it as bad as they did. Well, we didn't get it as bad as they did. I think we're also a little bit more prepared because we do get snow and stuff every year, just not like that. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, anyway, last week, I only got to the gym three days. Um, Wednesday, I was able to get to the gym Friday and Saturday. Um, so, Monday, Tuesday, I did home workouts. It was more like circuit training for me. Cardio, that type of thing. Both of those days. I didn't do anything on Thursday because I was exhausted. Wednesday, I just hit legs. Friday, I went in and hit chest and back. Um, and then Saturday, I went in and hit legs and shoulders. So, no, no cardio other than what I did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't even know that I did cardio on Wednesday. I can't remember. Regardless, you know, those two days, I wasn't 100% at all. It was like, like I said, 80, 80%. So, um, I'm going to make sure for the next six weeks that I am really on point with everything um, starting today. Starting today, 
um, because I'm going to try to push this off season as long as I can. Like I said, I'm going to end up doing Junior Nationals because it's in Chattanooga. Um, I feel like it would be stupid of me not to. So, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm just going to push this off season as long as I can. I have six more weeks until I have to make a decision. And then probably just going to do an eight week prep. So, we'll see. Um, kind of wasn't prepared for it. I was prepared to have like a longer off season. And I'm really enjoying this off season because I see the improvements that I'm making. And, excuse me, I just want to keep pushing. I just want to keep pushing and keep making improvements. Because I see the changes happening and it's like lighting a fire under me. Why will this not stay? So, anyway, that's kind of where we're at with everything. Um, I, you know, I really think I'm going to bring a more muscular package to the stage. And I'm just going to do the best that I can do. You know, like I talked about earlier, I've been doing this for nine years now. Oh, there's so, I could kick myself for the times I should have stepped on a national level stage and I didn't. But it is what it is. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe someone else out there can be inspired by my story. And know that you, for some people, yeah, they may turn pro in their first one, two years competing. For other people, it's a lot longer and it's a journey. So, anyway, I'm going to try to stop somewhere, get this elbow taken care of. And I will check back in with you guys later um, when I drink my post-workout shake. I'm still sipping on my intro workout, which has carbs in it. So... Due to that, I feel like I can kind of push my post-workout meal a little bit. Um, so I'm probably going to push it till about 3.30. I feel like as long as I'm still sipping on carbs, I'm fine. So, and it seems to be working so far. That's what I've done this whole off-season. If I don't finish my intro workout, I go ahead and continue sipping on it. And then I start my post-workout. So, anyway guys, I will check back in with you in just a little bit. Guys, back from the gym. Gonna have a banana and some level one protein powder uh, mixed with water. This is how I get in a lot of my water. Mix it in a big uh, shaker. A lot of people don't like their protein shakes super watery. I kind of don't either, but again, this is how I get in my water. And I'm about to start chugging my 64 ounces of water right here. Why is this wet? Okay. My 64 ounces of water right here, which I have um, some water flavor in and L-carnitine and omega-6 blend by OPI. BPI. So, OPI is a nail polish. Whoopsie. <laughs> So anyway, this is meal number four. This is my post-workout meal. Um, and usually my post-workout meal is like meal number two or three. But on Mondays, it's later in the day because I have the day off. So I get started later. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So post-workout shake and banana going down. Yeah, I feel pretty good today. So, lifted heavy, got some, spent 100 bucks on shit for my elbow. So, we'll see how that works out. Anyway, check back in with you guys later. So, I've had a couple of people asking me if I'm still doing my daily devotions, and I am. Um, if I miss a day, I double up the next day. So, for instance, when 
I was moving, I think I missed like three or four days, and I read all of those and got caught up. Um, it's really become something that's very important for me to do and starts me off on a good note every morning. So my daily devotion this year is Celebrate Recovery. Um, this isn't my first book from Celebrate Recovery. My sister had gotten me one years ago when I was in the deep, dark pit of alcoholism and oh, ugh, it was just bad. And she had wrote some really beautiful stuff on the inside and I really cherish that. And when I moved back to Tennessee, um, somehow a lot of my books got wet and um, it just completely got ruined. I still have it, but um, I really wanted to do this one this year, so I ordered a brand new one. If you are not familiar with Celebrate Recovery, it's not just for people who have, um, who are alcoholics or addicts, it's for anyone. They say for people who have hurts, habits, and hangups. It does follow the step tw the, 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 <laughs> the 12 step program, but um, in a different manner. And I think it's just really wonderful. When I used to go to Celebrate Recoveries, there would be people in there who had been going through divorces, people who were going through breakups, people who were in depressions, um, people who had lost loved ones, people who were alcoholics and addicts, um, people who had eating disorders. Um, it was really amazing. The one that I really loved the most was the fact that there was this woman that would come in to celebrate recovery because she couldn't stop eating ice cream. And you know, the great thing about it is, is that you're just in there with everyone and you realize that everyone's got issues, man. Everyone's got something that they're dealing with or struggling with. And Celebrate Recovery is just amazing. It, in my opinion, it just, I don't know, it's for anyone. So, um, that is what I am doing for my daily reading. Now for my journal, uh, I have this one. Um, it's not my favorite, I'll be honest. I really loved the one that I had last year and I tried to find a, no a newer version of it, but I could not find it anywhere um, where you would read like two paragraphs and then you would write. Um, this one, that, and it was a daily one. This one is a weekly and I've struggled with keeping up with it. Um, so by the end of the week, I end up playing catch up and I don't like that. But my sister made a good point that I could do, you know, one thing out of it a day. So it goes weekly. So you have your reading for the week or your passage and reflect. So I go back at the end of the week and write on that. And then on the inside, you have, you know, a thankful, um, teach me, guide me, things on my heart, highlights, and prayer request. So what I do is I wake up every day, I read the passage, and then I go and I do one of these. Now you can see I've not done this week. I'm starting it today. Um, so I'll, I go Monday through Sunday. Um, because that's how I see the week. Um, I think the day of rest is your Sunday and you should rest on that day. It's the seventh day, right? So, um, a lot of calendars start on Sunday, but I try to start my weeks on Monday. So this goes Monday through Sunday for me. So I haven't started this week yet, but you can see I did finish out last week and I'll show you what that looks like. So there's my reflect and everything that I went through. So that is my journal. Um, we'll see how this goes. Like I said, I, I'm not, uh, this one's just not my favorite. I like the daily one, um, but I am trying to get myself used to this. So I still do my stuff every day. Uh, usually every morning, but on Sundays and Mondays, I usually just do it whenever I feel like doing it because I'm off on those days. And then throughout the week, I do it every morning once I get up. I'll get up, take Kitty out, fix my coffee, sit down, do my devotion, get up, eat my breakfast, and then get my day started. That's kind of how I go about things. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. So, 
yeah, that's all I got right now. All right, guys, here we go. So this is meal number five. I will have two rice cakes with this, but this is four ounces of bison, um, a half a cup of green beans, uh, about half to three-fourths a cup of riced veggies. That's like cauliflower peas, a little bit of carrots underneath. That's going to be fifth meal. All right, last meal of the day is a protein pancake. I made this with one scoop of a blend protein powder, um, a half, no, one teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of G butter, and then, uh, let's see, probably like a fourth a cup of uh, cashew milk. I have a tablespoon of almond butter, a little sugar-free whipped cream, there's sugar-free syrup on here, and two slices of turkey bacon.